let's get into it. We've got The Ring, episode 16. Um, this one's written by Howard Gordon, who I've talked about before. Yeah, because he was He's... on Big Brother. Remember I told you? Howie Gordon. <laughs> We've talked about him. Is he Big Howie from uh, season 15? No, 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 no. He's, he, he was on Big Brother 6 and Big Brother 7. Oh, Howie. Howie with the Janelle. <laughs> right, Janelle. of course. Yeah, the of lightsabers. Course. Yeah, the Force. The Force. Yes, Jedi um, Howie. Jedi Howie, right. <laughs> uh, one of the all-time greats. <laughs> yeah, of course. Now, uh, no. now, did you know he's a weatherman in Alaska? Did you know that? I, I did know that. I've seen clips of him doing the weather. Oh, okay. It's delightful. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay, so Howard Gordon is our writer of this episode. He he was one of the original um, X-Files writers. I always felt how he, you know, he eventually goes on and creates 24, which is like a wow, big, big awesome. deal. But I remember feeling bad for him around this point in time because it's like James Wong and Glenn. The original writing staff of the X-Files was only four people. All right. It was Chris Carter, the creator. He went and he went on. He created like a bunch of TV shows. Then you had Glenn Morgan, who went on and like did Willard and co-wrote Final Destination. James Wong went on and directed Final Destination. And then you had Howard Gordon, who was like writing for season one of Angel. Yeah. I'm like, dude, yeah, what a <laughs> figure loser it out. Writing for figure Angel. it out, bro. But uh, he eventually does. And he created 24 or co-created anyway. But uh, here he is. I think this is his last episode of Angel before he uh, goes and does that. Um, but uh, our director this week is Nick Mark, who um, is a Buffy guy mostly. He wrote, or he didn't write, he directed Something Blue this year. Hmm. Okay, so let's talk about it. Go ahead. All right. Well, no Kate. Very sad. <laughs> No, I had a great episode last week. I think that was last week, wasn't it? She was like, a big star uh, yeah, last the week. Pro- her her dad died last week. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's sad. Don't don't see her again here. But but we meet this guy, Darren McNamara, right? He shows up, and he tells them that he had a brother who got kidnapped, and he found a finger in his mailbox. Right. That's right. But he but he comes in like all beat up, and it's like. Did, did you like interact with these guys or you just found a finger in your mailbox? It's a little suspicious to start with, I think. Yeah. If I was Angel, I'd have been like, this feels sus to me. It um, yeah, let's play another round. Yeah. Um, he mentions, he says, got to go find my brother. He dealt with a lot of bookies, right? So Angel goes to a bookie guy and he, he doesn't get invited into this room, does he? I don't remember. Where are we? He got Angel goes to the bookie and he but he's just like he just kind of walks in like he mentions like you got to invite me in and he walks in. But the guy doesn't ever say you could come in or it wasn't a public place. I mean, they're I don't know. They're they're I don't know. It seemed like they were like, I don't know. That's a good question. But he, but he mentions this like, guy Angel, you're talking about now is the guy from Goodwill Hunting, right? No. Oh, the bookie is like a is a random guy. The da- Darren McNamara's brother, who supposedly got kidnapped, is the right, but turns guy. out to be a bad boy. Yeah, he he's um how do, how, how do you like them apples from Goodwill Hunting? Yes, yes, but the the bookie is somebody else. Um, okay, but but anyway, I had a problem with that. Like he didn't get the invitation, but I guess we didn't need to. So so he gets told like go to some canyon or whatever. Um, uh, Cord- early early on, Cordelia and Wesley sort of had like they were like arguing a little bit what was that about i don't know but i love their chemistry this week me too i thought yeah. that so far of any that episode. that scene where they pretend to be cops to talk to that, that rich couple yeah is really delightful and like afterwards she's like what the hell are you talking about <laughs> like why well, you're just so stupid <laughs> yeah I, like, I liked her but she calls him agent yelsu and I I always thought that was just like a weird name, and then I, I realized it's Wesley backwards. Oh wow! That's yeah, not the same thing. What was her name? Was her name Cordelia backwards? No, no, she like had a little name for herself. I don't remember. Oh, that's pretty funny. And I wrote down Cordelia hates slime. Did you get that? No, but congrats. I agree. It's scary. <laughs> She mentions like all the bad things, and she's like, yeah. "Slime! I fucking hate slime." So there we go. Oh, by the way, by the way, you skipped at the beginning. 
uh, Cordelia is working on a demon database called Demons, Demons, Demons. She was making that? I think she was. I thought that was just like a website she was on. and she It might have been. It might have been. It might have been. But she, but, but she does mention making a dating website, like a demon dating website. True. True. But I, I just wanted to shout out that um, there's this like random line uh, in that scene and it's referencing she that terrible episode of she okay what's that he's like ask she asks him to like look up that lady on the demon database or something i don't oh, know really? anyway it oh, just, her name? I, I don't remember biling biling okay but boy biling or eiling biling no that character's name I don't know the character's name. She's Bai Ling. Oh, well, obviously they didn't say look up Bai Ling. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> All right. So Angel goes to this arena where uh, demons fight each other. We said we mentioned Fight Club earlier. And it's more the- like Gladiator than Fight Club, to be honest. Yeah, it is. You know, well, what I was thinking of, I was thinking of uh, Thor Ragnarok a little bit. No, Right. But that's Gladiator, too. I know. I, I'm a I, loser. Um, I think about Marvel. Right, right. But the the scene especially where like they're like eating gruel or whatever <laughs> like but, like but when they're not on in the ring and they're just like in their like cages you know that reminded me a lot of Gladiator the way they're talking like oh, we're gonna have to fight later it'll be a great battle but you know yeah <laughs> wish we didn't have to do it you know that's that kind of shit I like that part when he stood up for that little guy yeah Melish me Melish um but anyway so they. Uh, big reveal. I thought cool, cool reveal. This guy, uh, we haven't done this yet where somebody has gone to Angel for help, but really they're bad. They're trying to trick him, right? That hasn't happened yet. I Not that yet. A cool twist. So it's revealed that this guy, Darren McNamara, is bad. They end up imprisoning Angel. And Angel, great line, reference to another episode. Did you catch this? Say it. He said, I really wanted a room with a view. Yeah, and you know what else is funny about that? What? Um, the guy in that scene, you know, that demon with the green sort of camouflage. Trepkos? I get. Uh, there's Trepkos and there's another one. It's who's... not Trepkos. Okay, I'll have to look up the Angel episode thing. It's this fella, Crib. Tom Crib. Yeah. Okay. Crib. That actor is in that scene when he says room with a view and he's also in the episode room with a view. He plays like the, the demon that's like going at like the bookie that's going after Doyle for money in that episode. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm I'm looking at him. I've definitely seen this guy. He's that guy and he's playing another demon in this episode. And I think they had angels say room with a view that moment because the guy from room with a view is right there. Yeah, I mean, I didn't know that, that that he was in that episode, but yeah, yeah, that that's very cool. Um, all right, there we go. Marcus Redmond is the actor. There you go. He was in Fight Club. Wow. He played Detective Kevin. So he's like one of those. Co- Every so often, they cut to the cops, and it's like, oh, mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, I was supposed to keep going. Uh. So, so yeah, so we meet this guy, Darren McNamara. It's revealed that, like, his brother wasn't actually kidnapped. And his brother, as we mentioned, is the guy from Goodwill Hunting. How do you like them apples? Is He's that yeah. guy that, like, the w- – which was cool. If you guys remember in Beer Bad, there's the guy who's, like, talking to Xander. Like, all these women, they want me because I'm in, like, law school and you're a fucking loser working at a bar. And Which is basically the scene from Goodwill Hunting. And we talked about Goodwill Hunting in that episode. And then here's the literal guy from that scene in Goodwill Hunting. He plays Jack. So how do you think that people. actor feels about being known as the how do you like them apples guy when he doesn't even have the line how do you like them apples he's just the one that's who a likes great point apples but yeah. but he does he does doesn't he say it but then the punchline is that matt damon says it back to him is that what happens no it's something similar i don't think it's apples that he uses in his. <laughs> wow so he's remembered for something that yeah he's he's in it but he doesn't even say that yeah, yeah. I'm sure he doesn't mind that much. Because but... later he goes, do you like apples? Like, why would he say that? Like, do you like apples? Well, I got a phone number. How do you like them apples? Yeah. And, and I guess he he wouldn't have answered the question if he knew the punchline was coming, you know? Like, like exactly. if he earlier said the apples thing, he wouldn't then say, yeah, yeah I, I like apples. Was coming. Yeah. 
yeah yeah so i guess i guess you're right uh but very cool seeing seeing this guy here i, I like that but the whole the, so the whole thing in the arena is you need 21 kills and then you can leave and they've got these wristbands where you're not allowed to leave like the area or whatever all right so wesley goes to that bookie and he like pulls out a crossbow and shoots him in the That's hand. The ring. I like the title of this episode because the ring could mean either the ring where they're fighting or the security ring that they have to wear. No, I'm pretty sure it only means the fighting <laughs> ring. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Cause that's a bracelet. Like it's a, it's a ring. It's a bracelet. It goes on their wrist. In the no? shape of a ring. What does that mean? It's circle? <laughs> As a, a bracelet is? What are you yes. talking about? Yes. <laughs> oh my god. Uh so so yeah, so we meet so Angel, there's that scene where they're eating dinner and the guy, jerk guy, crib is like, give me your fucking food. And Angel is like, No, give it back to Melly. She's like uh he's just trying just trying to eat his dinner. And then it turned out like Melish has to go into a battle and the guy's like, I will take care of Melish quick. And he kills Melish, very sad. I was actually sad when Melish died. No, this is kind of the first episode of Angel that, like, treats saving demons like it's a noble thing. Like, yeah. Angel's, like, I feel like on Buffy, when you see a demon, you pretty much assume they're bad until you're told otherwise. Well, that's what's great about the end of the episode, when they're like, oh, man, yeah. we actually just let out all these demons. Totally, yeah. But I do think on Angel, like, when you meet a demon, you you kind of have to wait. Like, are they going to be all right or, or, or mean? Yeah. I haven't really thought about that, but I guess yeah. you're right. They're not always uh, the worst. Yeah. Uh, I mean, so you we... got, like, Phantom Dennis. He's, like, a sweet ghost. Yeah. We haven't really dealt with other ghosts, have we? Uh, what about I Only Have Eyes for You? I Only Have Eyes for You. The John Hawks episode? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I guess I guess you're right. And The Invisible Girl. That's not a ghost. That's an invisible girl. <laughs> but she's not. she's not a ghost? No, she's just she's alive. She gets ignored too much, and then she. Turns I know. Invisible. I understand. I understood the reasoning, but but what happens at the end of the episode? She gets turned back into visible. No, she gets recruited by the government to be an invisible assassin. Oh yeah, that's crazy. Have we ever gone back to that? No, but I've always said I think that that episode is setting up the initiative. That's the first oh. time on on Buffy that you like find out the government is aware of like supernatural shit. And right. I, I think that's like an early indication that that's somewhere we're going to be going on the show. Yeah, I forgot about that was the resolution to the Invisible Girl. That's very cool. I like that. Yeah. So we meet we meet this girl. Uh, oh, there's this cool scene where uh, Angel grabs Goodwill Hunting guy and he's like, now I've got your brother. What are you going to do? And then the brother just Darren, Darren McNamara just shoots his brother. He's like, I don't even so care. So cold blooded. I love that moment. Yeah. I don't even fucking care about that, dude. What are you talking about? That was, yeah. that was cool. And then we meet. Well, yeah, uh, he's my dead brother now. Whatever. Yeah, my dad. That, that was crazy. Yeah. Uh, we meet Lila Morgan. I assume she'll be important. She works I'm, for. Thank you for clocking and... her importance. She's very important. Yeah, I mean, obviously, she works for Wolfram and Hart. She says she tried to get Angel out of the the fighting, but he decides to go back because he's got some saving to do. Very noble yeah. guy. The senior partners want to let Angel go, so it's interesting. Like Wolfram and Hart is not invested in killing Angel. Right. He, he, they'd like to use him if possible. I I think like they are interested in perhaps having him in their debt yeah yeah that's what that's what it seems like and but he says no i gotta save these guys so he goes back and Cord cordelia and oh yeah so, so in the meantime cordelia wesley have, have had that bracelet and they're trying to do like tests on the bracelet wesley shocks himself Pretty cordelia is so good in this episode i feel like she's like firing on all cylinders everything she's she's, she's like making one, websites one she's she's getting into places she's seducing bodyguards i mean uh you know like prison guards she's uh coming up with the right material to open this bracelet it's like yeah she everything she touches turns to gold in this fucking episode <laughs> yeah you're kind of right this is the cordelia showcase episode showing all of her talents i love it what was that episode where her and xander it's a the buffy episode where her and xander are together 
and she like she seduces a guy in like the library or something. It's not the in library. the library. They go to they go to like well, try to find archives or something, and they're, they're, she seduces. Um, she seduces uh a guy in the hospital. Okay, that might be what um. Stan, she seduces Stanford from Sex in the City in the hospital and killed by death. Um, she seduces. She like acts like a trashy girl in innocence when but when and when sorry fucking Xander needs to steal the rocket launcher. Yeah, I think it's that it's like her and Xander together in an episode. That might be what you're thinking of, but that doesn't seem like that. So I don't know. Is that when he takes her? He's like, I only need ten seconds back there with her. Yes, exactly. <laughs> That's funny. Um, That's also during that is when um, Willow asks Oz if she can kiss him. Right. He's like, yeah. No, gotta. Be, and you're just doing this because he won't kiss you. Yeah. I'm not gonna be your second option. Yeah, that's nice. Uh, all right. So we go to so to Trap Coast. So it's like it's gonna be Trap Coast versus Angel. Trap Coast has 20 wins. He needs one more, and it's gonna be against Angel. But Angel comes up with a great plan. He says, "Hey, if we don't fight each other." Nobody's going to die because we're not going to be killing each other. That sounds like a great plan, right? And basically, I guess that's what they do. They stop fighting each other. There's one part where Wesley has the bracelet or the ring, as you say, and he he goes to this guy and the guy uses his tongue. He's like a frog demon. This is the guy from Room of the View. Oh, that's that guy. Yeah. That's like a crib. So yeah, cri- crib is like that. It gets it with his tongue. <laughs> He's like the, the guy from X-Men. He's like the toad. Yeah, guy from toad. X-Men. And... What what happens to a crib when he's uh I don't know uh, but by lightning I I I have the answer do you want to know yeah what is it the same thing that happens to everyone else by the way a line written by Joss Whedon oh wow full circle that's amazing <laughs> I love it <laughs> uh, is he the one who has like the you're a dick line is that him? yeah those are the you're two lines that Joss Whedon wrote for his X Men script that were kept in the first movie wow. And uh, so that was very cool. And then all the demons, basically, they all escape. We we kill the bad guys or whatever. And then at the end of the episode, Angel, Cordelia, Wesley, they're walking away. And they're like, oh, my God, we we just let a bunch of demons out. That's not good. And you're like, oh, no. Pretty funny. <laughs> Maybe my favorite angel ending. I don't know. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah um, you're, it's it's very it's it's actually. It ends on like a double take, similarly to that great ending on the uh, fountain that you like. Yeah, on that is my number one still. Probably. Yeah, we're all gonna be alone. No, oh, no, <laughs> that's a great one. What's your What's your favorite? Well, I like also like the one where she talks to Giles, like "Don't sleep with my mom again," <laughs> and they walk yeah. to the tree. <laughs> we gotta rank know. those endings to episodes. I like the end of Hush when they're just like sitting staring at each other. Really. Yeah, I don't even remember that, but it sounds pretty good. Don't you remember? I guess we need to talk, and then none of them talk. Oh, then, oh, yeah, yeah, of course, of course, yeah, yeah. Um, and that's the end of the episode. I think I will give it a three. I will too. I like this one. I'm, I'm gonna say also, this is the only episode of Angel in the history of the show that was nominated for an Emmy. Wow, for what category? Uh, best makeup. In a, awesome. in a TV show, you know, she he's locked up with all those demons. Yeah. And so there's like a shit ton of them they had to do makeup on. So they they gave him a little shout out at the at the Emmys. It unfortunately lost to um, what did it lose to? Hang on. I have it pulled up here somewhere. That's oh, it I'm lost to a random episode of the X-Files, which is fine. Okay, I thought Trap Trap Coast especially especially looked cool. He had like little I did too horn mohawk or something like on his head. I yeah, it was like a, around his head. He looked sort of like a dinosaur. Yeah, he was really he was really cool, and so that's awesome. I I will go my uh, I rank this one. There's been sixteen episodes, and I'm I put this at six between Somnambulist and I've Got You Under My Skin, but it may be better okay. than Somnambulist. I don't know. Well, yeah, but that one has Jeremy Renner, you know? Yeah, I know. But this one had uh, Crep- Trep Ghost. Uh, read me from the top. Uh, From the top. The Prodigal, Hero, City of, Room of the View, I've Got You Under My Skin, Expecting, Somnambulist, yeah, you Parting could pop, Gift. You could pop this bad boy right up ahead of Expecting. So between I've got you under my skin. So we both have it at number six. Yeah. 
I love it. Six of 16. You really love that first episode, City of. Holy shit. I like the stuff with like Russell and Cordelia being in his house and realizing he's a vampire. Like that stuff always sticks with me. I mean, barely. Like I know what you're talking about. Come on. (laughs) But we've had so much other stuff since then. I know. I still like it though. It's a good pilot. I respect a pilot. You got nothing to work with. You have to like do a whole show without any fucking. Yeah, you're high on the Buffy pilot too. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm impressed by good pilots. You know, even when they're not as good as like what the show became. Yeah. Like if a show is is already like good and watchable from episode one on, I think there's something to be said for that. Of course. Yeah, I like that. Um yeah. all right, so there is Buffy's Angels. Should we read the uh the Patreon? We had a couple comments. You mean Josh's right? comment? Josh's comment two, two of them comments, yeah. plural. Uh he says, Buffy. That was great. Hello. Super compelling. I was glued to the screen at every moment. Top five app for sure. Wow. He fucking loved it. Um, yeah. That's awesome. And then he says about Angel, he says, pretty good one. LVP <laughs> Jack with the long hair for mispronouncing. Uh, You want to say that for me? Spiel? Um, I'm not looking at it. <laughs> S-P-I-E-L. It, so you're the LVP of this fucking Oh, episode. my God. We yeah. already knew that, he, but uh, he's spiel. spiel. It's spiel. Oh, spiel. There's no, there's no H there. So. I know, but you gotta just make one. Really, that's how you say it. Yeah. Should, should we call him Steven Spielberg? You think Spielberg you about that? <laughs> yeah. It seems like you're Jewing it even more, kind of. I might be. I might be. No, no, no. Not you with spiel. I mean Spielberg. If you call no, him I literally Spielberg. might be like that word might be spiel, but Jews say spiel, and that no, I've, I've also heard of might... spiel. That also might be what Josh Merles is reacting to as a Jew. That that what that they said spiel and weren't supposed to, or no, the, or that they, they were supposed they to say said spiel. something else. Yeah, but I've heard spiel. I think that's right. I've never heard spiel. I don't know what that is. Yeah, okay. that's why I was so confused. But um, all right. Uh, <laughs> thanks, Josh Merles, uh, for learning, teaching me about spiel. That's like that's like you're going on and on. You're just like you're going on. And you got the spiel or whatever. <laughs> yeah, yeah, or like um you know, a salesman's patter, like they're like, or, or like the things that like, that are in a script that you have to read, like as a retailer or something. Yeah. Like, welcome to this, but you know, right. uh, You know, we offer this and this and this, like that's their spiel. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Uh, Thanks. Okay. Merlis. What what else do we do on this show? What's next week on the show? Yeah. Next week on Buffy is an episode called superstar. Oh, um, I'm going to guess that well, I was going to say somebody is like really going to take off, but nobody's really doing anything like I was gonna, like Cordelia. If this was Angel called Superstar, it'd be how Cordelia's career is taken off now. Right. Mm. But that doesn't make any sense here because nobody's doing anything like what's Xander's job even at the moment. Do we know? I mean, he's doing construction still. That was like ten episodes ago when Anya. Yeah, was but like, I think the ne- I think the next the time I think the next time we see him, he's still doing that. Okay, uh, superstar. I'm gonna guess Faith gets out of the train and she ends up on the set of American Idol. And she oh, I love it. And then she wins. She's the next superstar. <laughs> <laughs> that show was the search for the next superstar. It really was. And this is around yeah. that time, right? Two thousand. Yeah. I think that might be chosen one. I don't know. Maybe. So you think you can dance? When's that? You ever watched that show? I never did. No. Are you serious? That's like kind of a fun show. We should have done that on Buffy's Angels or on uh, on uh, Comp Beast. Uh, Comp Beast. By the way, yeah. by the way, they've said Comp Beast in like fifteen Big Brother episodes this season. I told you it's a thing. It it yeah it is it is a thing, but it's like I feel like we got away from it and then it came back. Like it was a thing in 2015, 16, The Comp yeah. Beast. But then we got away from it, and now it's back. Comp beasts. Maybe we should bring it back. Yeah, you know what I have yeah, to say to that? Be... What? Let's go! Let's go! Oh, yeah? Let's <laughs> go. Uh, all right, what, what happens on Angel? What's Angel called? A- the next week's Angel is called Eternity. Okay. Um, what? Um... I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna guess we can hang out with those gold people again. <laughs> Remember those guys? Of course, I do the oracles. Yeah, and they like introduce us to a world where 
all eternity is at your fingertips. I don't wow, know. I'm looking forward to that. Sounds like a really fascinating episode of Angel. Yeah, we'll see next week.